Wow, this is neat. Are we in the right place? Well, you're in the right place. I'm Dr. Joycelyn Harrison, and I work here in the Advanced Materials and Processing Branch at NASA Langley Research Center. But since you guys are in the lab, could you do me a favor and put these safety glasses on? We have to always remember to use safety first. Well, we're trying to solve the problem of making our bikes more visible at night, and we want to use reflective materials. We were hoping you could help us. Do you know anything about reflective materials? Yes, here at NASA Langley, we do research on developing reflective plastics. Here's an example of a reflective plastic film that we developed right here. Wow, this is really lightweight. This would look really cool on our bike. Uh, how do you make it? Well, we start off with this clear polymer solution that has metal ions dissolved in it. And then we pour it on these glass plates. And then we bake it in these big ovens. You bake here? Yes, actually chemists do bake, but we call it curing. While curing, the metal ions in the material migrate to the surface of the material and we end up with a very reflective plastic. Wow, I thought that only metals were reflective. Why does NASA use reflective plastics? Well, you guys come with me and I'll show you an example of how NASA used materials just like this. Come on. What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. It's so tall. This is a reflective antenna. Actually, it would have to be about five times larger than this to be used in space. NASA puts antennas like this in space to collect energy or signals for communications and scientific measurements. Why does it have to be so shiny? It needs to be reflective so that we can focus the energy to where we want it to go, like to a location on Earth or to a science instrument on a satellite, for example. We really need reflective materials, too. We're trying to make our bike safer at night. I don't think we could build anything like that. Do you have any suggestions for our bike? Well, what kind of things do you think could help you see your bikes at night? We had a brainstorming session and came up with a few ideas, like stickers, maybe paint. Yes, but just make sure that those lights and stickers are reflective so that the light will bounce off them. You might also consider using some reflective gear. Gear? Yes, like reflective vests, helmets, or even tennis shoes. We'll get started. Thanks for your help. We really appreciate it. Bye, Dr. Harrison.